an exception. <laughs> to the roofs. My school. Look at these trophies, see how my trophies gleam in the sunlight, see how they shine. What do you think it took to become English hammer throwing champion? 1969. Do you think in that moment and when my bigger moment came, did I treat it? Quad magic while I'm 
baking! Oh. Baking? With a mix. Disturbing scent. I need the finest most of smell it, but I know it oh too well. It is the odor of rebellion. It's the big K of descent. And you may bet your britches that this headmistress finds this foul odivorousness. Holy and fractally insulting. And so to stop stenches bread, I find a session of feast head salt the melly rank from the river time. Rebellion comes out in the sweat, and we said we'll get you sweating. And eat and be long before I smell the pong of aiding and abetting. A bit of we said will tell us who has a head full of rebellious thoughts. Held, held, just like a rotten egg, plugged to the top of a bucket of water. The smell of rebellion. The scent of the veil, the ring of insubordination. The whiff of resistance, One, the pull of the scent, the funk, immunity in action. Before a weed becomes too big and crazy, you really need to nip it in the bud. Position two, before the worm starts to tear, you must scrape off the dirt and rip it from the mud. The whiff of insurgence. The poem of intent, the reef of a pre-pubescent protest. The funk of defiance to the over of poop. The lost one, and a key progress. Mercy, exercise these demons. They shall be too poor for scheming. Some double time discipline should stop the rot from setting in. All right, let's set this up. Double time. One, two, three, four. Discipline, discipline, of virtues and how I listen. For majors who are fidgeting, a whispering in history. The chattering, the chittering, the nattering, the touring. Stuttering with the smattering of discipline. We must begin insisting our rigidity of discipline. Persistently resistant, anarchistic. Music, discipline is your fidgeting, and pattering and pitting. Well, let's go on, take this age, one discipline. The suffering, the whimpering, the dripping, and the spitting, and the mix. How you get you? It's an issue we can fix. Mystery, the master, and the arts, the cops, and the discipline. This one, this one, this one, smell of rebellion, sent of revolt, the reek of a pre pubescent pump, the whip of resistance, the tongue of dissent, the fun of a mortal fight for rotting. Martin, well, you know, children, close your eyes and just dream. of 
name is Honey. I'm pathetic. You are wet and you are weak. You're a rat, a smithering little wart. You, you outrage, you maggot! Oh, stop, stop! Stop, stop! Oh no, we're just getting started! No, Miss Chantelot, don't please, you're full of the ears off. Miss Honey, I've learned through many years of experimentation that the ears of young boys not simply come off, they stretch. In fact, I feel his stretching now! Overwhelmed them and drew them on. 
towards even more dangerous feats because their work became the only place that they could escape the inescapable tragedy of their lives. And so it was. They decided to perform the most dangerous feat ever known to man. It is cold, said the husband, announcing to the world press, ready to listen with bated breath. Her sister for her success and her love. Suddenly, out came the escapologist, wearing his tight and spangly outfit. But there was no sign of the athlete, and no glimpse at all of the shiny white scarf. And instead of a musical fanfare, there was silence among the crowd as he solemnly strode into the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the burning woman hurling through the air with dynamite in her hair over sharks and spanky objects, caught by the man locked in the cage, has been cancelled. No. The whole crowd gasped so loud that a passing aeroplane caught on the instrumentation as an atmospheric phenomenon. Cancelled because my wife is pregnant. Oh, Matilda! Silence. You could have heard a fly burp. Until the silence stopped. The whole crowd jumped onto their feet and roared in appreciation. The whole feet was instantly forgotten. And your pot went on for nearly an hour. So the story has a happy ending? No. Forgotten by everyone except for the Akbat sister. And when everything quieted down, she stepped forward and produced a contract. Uh, a contract? A contract you have signed! Perform this feat! And perform this feat you shall! No! I am capable of the process! Publicity! Catering! Toy facilities! If I give the crowd their money back, where is my profit? A contract! It's a contract! It's a contract!
slowly, very slowly. The acrobat's wound is shiny white scarf around the ask of Holger's neck. For luck, my love, she said, kissing him with the most gentlest of kisses. Smile, we have done this a thousand times. But then suddenly, she hugged him with the biggest hug in the world. He felt that she would knock all the air to him. And so, it was, they prepared to perform the most dangerous feat has ever been performed. The great escapologist had to escape from the cage, lean out, catch the wife with one hand, grab the fire extinguisher with the other, put out the flames on the asbestos design dress within 12 seconds before they reached the dynamite and below the wife's head off! at the end of her little fingers. She managed to hold on long enough to have the child, but the effort was too great. Love our daughter with all our hearts, she said. She's all we've ever wanted. got worse. What? Worse? Oh, my children, not worse. They can't get worse. I'm afraid they did. Because so kind was Gascapologist that he never for one second blamed Yakubat's sister for what had happened to her. And in fact, he asked her to move in with them to help with her. She was nothing but cruel to this girl, making her cook and clean and wash and iron, and beating her if she did a thing wrong. But I was in secret, so the Gascapologist never suspected a thing. And so, the poor little girl grew up with, grew up with the meanest, cruelest, most horrible act that you could ever possibly imagine. Let's call the police. Miss Phelps, Miss Phelps, it's just a story. What? You are the Bermuda's daughter? Yes. Where is your father? He's, I don't know. Wormwood is a stupid, stupid man. And in being stupid, he assumed that I was stupid too. And that is a very stupid and rude thing to do. Yes, I'm afraid my father is very rude and very, very stupid. Oh, you know this? Well, at least there is one clever one in your family. What is your name, little girl? Matilda. I like you, Matilda. You seem smart. And in my line of work, I don't normally get to meet smart people like you. Most of the people I meet, their thinking is all backwards. Backwards! Vi skvatita itse! Ja bodo za bova tiske onlek! Poslista, niti ne je tava, ena moja sanja. Vi govorite po roski? Da, tava, poslista, bevri, pridu moja sanja. 
Matilda, who taught you to speak Russian? Well, I was reading Dostoevsky, and I thought that it would be better if I read it in the language that it was written me written in. I am Sergei. It is truly an honor to meet you, Matilda Vermont. Your father has been stupid and rude to both, yes? I could easily have one of my friends here teach him some manners, and one day when he leaves the hospital, he will still be stupid, but he will not be so rude anymore. I give this as a gift to you. What you say? This is a very tempting offer, <laughs> but he's my father, and I'm his daughter, and I think I've had quite enough revenge. This little girl, this miracle, Matilda. Da? Not da, not da, Matilda. But you said da! Matilda, Matilda, not da. Your father is a very, very, very stupid man. He is also very, very lucky to have you as his daughter. Although if I'm ever doing business here again and I see him, he will not be so lucky! Quick! Let's get out of here before they change their minds! But what about the girl? Oh. Matilda, do you want to stay here with Miss Honey? Yes, yes I do. And you want to look after her? I do. Well, we are a bit short of room. So, yes. Thank you. <laughs> and Matilda leapt into his ma <laughs> Miss Honey's arms and hugged her. Oh, <laughs> Miss Honey hugged her back. Woods. And Rodolfo! And they hardly noticed as the wormwood and Rodolfo sped away in the distance. Because they have... Because they have found each other. Yes, they have found each other. 